Hello. Uh, I'm going to read something. Something I read last night that I really liked. Could I be an alcoholic without some of the hair-raising experiences I had heard of in meetings? The answer came to me very simply in the first of the 12 steps of AA. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. They didn't, this didn't say we had to be in jail 10, 50, or 100 times. It didn't say I had to lose one, five, or 10 jobs. It didn't say I had to lose my family. It didn't say I had to finally live on Skid Row and drink Bay Rum, canned heat, or lemon extract. I don't know what that means, but. It did say I admitted I was powerless over alcohol, that my life had become unmanageable. Most certainly I was powerless over alcohol, and for me, my life had become unmanageable. It wasn't how far I had gone. By the way, this is just a story that somebody wrote in this book. Um, what was uh, it wasn't how far I had gone, but where I was headed. It was important to me to see what alcohol had done to me and would continue to do if I didn't have help. At first, it was a shock to realize I was an alcoholic, but the re realization that there was hope made it easier. The baffling problem of getting drunk when I had every intention of staying sober was simplified. It was a great relief to know I didn't have to drink anymore. I was told that I must want sobriety for my own sake, and I am convinced this is true. There may be many reasons that bring one to AA for the first time, but the lasting one must be to want sobriety and the AA way of living for oneself. From the start, I liked everything about the AA program. I liked the description of the alcoholic as a person who has found that alcohol is interfering with his social or business life. The allergy idea I could understand because I'm allergic to certain pollens. Some of my family are allergic to certain foods. What could be more reasonable than that some people, including myself, were allergic to alcohol? The explanation that alcoholism was a disease of a twofold nature, an allergy of the body, and an obsession of the mind cleared up a number of puzzling questions for me. The allergy we could do nothing about. Somehow our bodies had reached the point where we could no longer absorb alcohol in our systems. The why is not important. The fact is that one drink will set up a reaction in our system that requires more. That one drink is too much and a hundred drinks are not enough. The obsession of the mind was a little harder to understand, and yet everyone has obsessions of various kinds. The alcoholic has them to an exaggerated degree. Over a period of time, he has built up self-pity and resentments toward anyone or anything that interferes with his drinking. Dishonest thinking, prejudice, ego, antagonism toward anyone and everyone who dares to cross him, vanity, and a critical attitude or character defects that gradually creep in and become a part of his life. Living with fear and tension inevitably results in wanting to ease that tension, which alcohol seems to do temporarily. It took me some time to realize that the 12 steps of AA were designed to help correct these defects of character and so help remove the obsession to drink. The 12 steps, which to me are a spiritual way of living, soon meant honest thinking, not wishful thinking, open-mindedness, a willingness not a willingness to try, and a faith to accept. They meant patience, tolerance, and humility, and above all, the belief that a power greater than myself could help. That power I chose to call God. A willingness to do whatever I was told to do, whatever I was told to do, simplified the program for me. Study the AA book. Don't just read it. They told me to go to meetings, and I still do at every available opportunity, whether I'm at home or in some other city. Attending meetings has never been a chore for, to me, nor have I attended them with a feeling of just doing my duty. Meetings are both relaxing and refreshing to me after a hard day. They said, get active. So I helped whenever I could, and I still do. A spiritual experience to me meant attending meetings and seeing a group of people all there for the purpose of helping each other, hearing the 12 steps and 12 traditions read at each meeting, and hearing the Lord's Prayer, which an AA meeting has such great meaning. Thy will be done, not mine. A spiritual awakening soon came to me, trying each day to be a little more thoughtful, more considerate, a little more courteous to those with whom I came in contact. To most of us, making amends will take the rest of our lives, but we can start immediately. Just being sober, we'll be making amends to many we have hurt by our drunken actions. Making amends is sometimes doing what we are capable of doing, but failed to do because of alcohol. Carrying out community responsibilities, such as community funds, Red Cross, educational and religious activities in proportion to our abilities and energy. I was desperately in earnest to follow through and understand what was expected of me as a member of AA and to take each step of the 12 steps rapidly as possible. To me, this meant telling my associates that I joined AA, that I didn't know what was expected of me by AA, but that whatever it was, it was the most important thing in life for me, that sobriety meant more to me than anything in this world. It was so important that it must come ahead of everything.
of anything. There are many short phrases and expressions in AA that make sound that make sound sense. Oh. First things first, solve our immediate problems before we try all the others and get muddled in our thinking and doing. Easy does it. Relax a little. Try for inner contentment. No one individual can carry all the burdens of the world. Everyone has problems. Getting drunk won't solve them. 24 hours a day. Today is the day. Doing our best, living each day to the fullest is the art of living. Yesterday is gone and we don't know whether tomorrow, tomorrow, blah, we don't know whether we will be here tomorrow. If we do a good job of living today and if tomorrow comes for us, then the chances are we will do a good job when it arrives, so why worry about it? The AA way of life is the way we always should have tried to live. Grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. These thoughts become part of our daily lives. They are not ideas of resignation, but of the recognition of certain basic facts of living. The fact that AA is a spiritual program didn't scare me or raise any prejudice in my mind. I couldn't afford the luxury of prejudice. I had tried my way and had failed. When I joined AA, I did so for the sole purpose of getting sober, sober and staying sober. I didn't realize I would find so much more. But a new and different outlook on life started opening, opening up almost immediately. Each day seems to be so much more productive and satisfying. I get so much more enjoyment out of living. I find an inner pleasure in simple things. Living just for today is a pleasant adventure. Above all, I am grateful to AA for my sobriety, which means so much to my family, friends, and business associates because God and AA were able to do for me something I was unable to do for myself. Isn't that good? Wow, it took a while. Um, I really like that. It like kind of sums up how I feel. Uh, today's Tuesday afternoon. I didn't record anything yesterday. I was kind of busy and I was kind of tired, um, but everything's going great. Um, work's going good. Uh, I'm able to drive around now, which is nice. Um, but I just, I kind of felt like that maybe me trying to, you know, film something each day instead of just letting ideas come to me. Um, was a bit much um so yeah i journaled a little bit last night just tried to write some notes maybe i'll read that um at some point and i just started writing and it just ended up being like rules to live by like a whole sheet of them anyway um yeah i'm very happy uh yesterday softball game got canceled so I was going to try to make a meeting, but I ended up going to play tennis. So I got active and was busy. And then I had to go buy groceries. Um, my, my mom wanted ice cream. She's been asking me for it for days. So I finally got her some damn ice cream. Uh, but she's doing okay. Um, yeah, I got to get Medicaid and all that and food stamps and stuff figured out for her. So that's, I got to try to, that's like my next focus. Um, but, um, you know, I was thinking about it. It's like, I really put a lot of time and energy into this, you know, throughout that week when I didn't have my license, because it was like something to focus on that was productive and, um, and positive. Uh, and now that like I have these other things I got to tackle, it, I can't put as much time into it. Um, so, but yeah, just want to read that. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm so happy because uh, multiple, multiple people that in my life that I know, um, you know, have, have reached out to me, and 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 I'm trying to help however I can, and it's and it's really exciting, um, really really exciting stuff. Um, so if you're one of those people, just take it one day at a time. One day at a time. Um, you can't worry too much about tomorrow. You can't worry about the future. Um, you just control what you can control today. And what you can control today is to not drink or to not use. Um, if you just get through today, tomorrow's another day. Right? Cool. Thanks for letting me share.